Hey guys, welcome to Rough Riders. Thanks for stopping by. About two years ago, I posted a video on how I keep my camp in uh, teardrop trailer secure using the Proven Industries Hitch Lock and the Trimax Wheel Lock. It's been a great video for me, um, lots of views and everything, and uh, a lot of great comments from you guys, and I really appreciate all that. Uh, some of you guys had expressed some concerns around the Proven Industries Hitch Lock, and so I had reached out to them to get their feedback and, and see what they had to say about some of that. Well, they were kind enough to actually send me an updated version of the hitch lock uh, to review. So I thought I'd take a look at that and uh, show you guys what's new and what's changed, what they've updated on that. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay, so here are the locks side by side. You can see uh, overall the lock design is still the same. They still have the three-piece design with the outer sleeve, the inner slide, and the puck. The uh, outer sleeve... The only real difference is the height of the collar is a little bit shorter on the new one, um, leading to a little bit overall, just very slightly uh, a shorter design on the sleeve. But it's still, you know, expertly crafted, very thick walled on the steel, very heavy, very beefy, um, precision welds with their uh, six axis a robotic welder. Uh, so. You know, it's, it's still a, a great design from that perspective. There is some subtle changes to the inner slide. So the old inner slide was a three-piece design. You had the, the ball, the bottom uh, part of the sleeve, and then uh, this part that holds the tongue. And it was uh, welded together with their uh, precision welder. Uh, so with the new one, they moved to a two-piece design. So, you know, they've... they've put uh, folds in the sheet instead of a smooth radius. Uh, the ball is welded on on the center, but then it's uh, cut and folded here uh, and formed a shape to uh, create the inner slide. Structurally, I don't think that's going to make any difference. I think it's going to be crazy strong anyway. Um, you notice that this one also does have a hole in it. That doesn't serve any functional purpose. Uh, that was just to help them get it out of the sheet when they, after they cut it with the laser cutter. So, um, you know, it's a great, it's still a great design from that perspective. On the puck, um, that's where the, the biggest changes were. Uh, still an aircraft grade aluminum. This is the old puck, and you can see it's got the notch in the side. Um, now, that's not necessarily true on all of them. I think it all depends on the type of uh, hitch you've got uh, on your trailer as to whether you needed the notch or not. Um, but, uh, you know, this one had the notch, the steel uh, uh, shank inside, and then it has the brass locking mechanism. Now, um, you know, when I contacted them, because a lot of the comments on the on the video were about the you know concerns about the brass uh, locking mechanism being uh, easy to drill out. So that's why I originally reached out to to Proven Industries was to get their feedback on that, and that's when they sent me this lock. Um, and you can see that they went with a thicker puck design. There is no notch on the side, um, but they went with a stainless steel barrel key design. So um, that should resist uh, drilling quite a bit because stainless steel is really hard to drill through um, and being a barrel design it should be a little bit more difficult to pick I'm not a locksmith so I don't know you know uh, how, to, how to pick a lock and whether or not the, the barrel keys are better but I would assume it is um, because your pins are not going to be all in a line uh, like they are with a, with a standard uh, cylinder design so um, you know those are the, the big differences between them you know, and, uh, you know, I think overall there, I think those are some good improvements. Now, uh, there were some folks that, uh, you know, had commented on the fact that these are made out of aluminum and aluminum being soft, uh, you know, was a, you know, potential for compromise. And so, um, you know, Proven Industries does actually have a complete solid piece of uh, stainless steel for the puck design. Um, you know, that is, you know, does add quite a bit of money to the overall cost because stainless steel is not cheap to begin with and it's much harder to work with, much more labor intensive. Uh, so it does cost more, but if that is a concern for you, they do have that as an option. So that uh, covers a lot of the changes. One thing I do want to do is, is uh, show you these things locked up because I think there is a little bit tighter fit and finish with the new design. So let me show you that next. Okay, so I put the locks together and one thing I did notice is that um, the, the fit and finish, I think, of the locked up solution is, uh, is, is much tighter uh, with the new design. 
and so or with the new puck. So I think that's a, a really nice touch um, as well. Um, you know, you, it'd be much, much more difficult to try and get anything in there to, to try and pry that uh, uh, puck lock uh, out and you know break that shank. Um, it would still be really hard to do with this new one as well um, while it's on there, especially since it's going to be on the bottom side to try and get anything in there and get some leverage would still be tif difficult, but, um, you know, it's just, a, it's just better. So, um, looking at the inside here, you know, you can see the overall, you know, snugness, even with, without the being a radius design, it's still, uh, you know, nice and tight on the other one, you know, that being a smooth radius matching the curve of the design is, is nice. Um, so, you know, still good fit and finish there, but, uh, you know, there, you know, that's, that's, uh, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, very, very, very happy with, uh, the changes. I think that's, uh, I think that's a good design. So, um, to wrap this up then, you know, I think the changes that they've made are, are absolutely for the better. Um, you know, these guys are still uh, doing, designing and building some great products. I love the, the quality of their work and uh, the quality of their designs. Uh, their customer service, um, you know, while well, my interactions with them have been great, I've never had any problem dealing with these guys. Um, you know, whenever I've contacted them about questions and, and things like that that you guys have raised, they've always been super responsive. Um, so, you know, I still think it's one of the, one of the great companies to work with. Uh, one point to note is that you, if you do have, um, if you do buy multiple locks from them, say you buy a wheel lock and uh, a hitch lock like this, you can actually get the keys, um, you can get the locks actually keyed uh, the same. So that way you got one key for both locks. So that's a, that's a nice touch as well. Um, they do have, uh, you know, a variety of different hitch locks for different types of hitches. So um, do contact them before you order so you can make sure you get the right one. But, uh, um, you know, there you have it. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty much what's going on with these locks. Don't forget, um, they do offer a discount code from, you know, if you, if you watch this video, if you watch my previous video, um, they gave me a discount code to give to you guys. So if you uh, contact them and say, Jay sent me, um, they'll give you 20 bucks off $200 or more. So, um, and by the way, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't get a commission from these guys. I don't, they don't send me checks or anything. So, um, buy it, don't buy it. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but you know, in my, in my opinion, these are, it's a great company to deal with and, and they make some great products. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing. I've got more great content coming and, uh, you know, we'll uh, see you next time.